Friday afternoon, time for a shave. I've got a party actually on later. Uh, my birthday party uh, delayed, it was on Wednesday, but it's now going to be on Friday. My skate group has been very kind and uh, Sarah has organized with Renata and all the others. So we're gonna have a little bit of a bash this evening. So I thought I better get a shave in. So I think today, I'm going back to using my cello red because it's very, very kind. The almond oil in it is very kind, I found anyway, very kind on the skin. So a quick lather up with the cello. And just for a change, I thought today would be a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a palmera shave. So I've got a couple of palmeras. <coughs> oh, blimey, excuse me. A couple of palmeras to try out. Um, these you may not have seen. I doubt if anybody will have seen an earlier palmera. I have a third Herbert's early 1890s palmera with the biggest blade on any 14 razor I know. It is a huge deep blade. It's over 26 millimeter, it's well over an inch. But the main thing about it is it's as a test, it's very old steel. And I'm very excited to see how it compares with a very late Palmera. I've got a, a very late, almost last made, round nose Palmera. Um, it's so late, it's got laser etching. It's got a laser etched address on it. So um, I assume that to be a very, anyway, it's a, uh, a Juan Volma, which is uh, from about 1934. Uh, till well, till when they went bust. So the third Herbert's one was the founder of Palmera and uh, he was German and it was about round around about the uh, 1890s, about 1898, I believe. Um, wonderful how you have probably a mixture of Swedish steel, German grinding and the design, I don't know where, um, Every part was made, actually. It'd be very interesting to know. But certainly the, the first palm mirrors were German. And they have that wonderful ring. In fact, the ring, when I do my hanging hair test on this palm mirror, it is unbelievable. In fact, even when stropping it, when stropping it, it rings literally the Hamburg ring. It rings like a bell. But this one is extraordinarily early. It has the palm tree, as you can see, and it has the pyramid, and looks like a little gentleman climbing with a sledge up the pyramid. I don't know what that symbolizes. It's the address on it is incredibly good, incredibly clear. As you can see, it has, again, the little palm, the little pyramid, 14 and third Herberts with Solingen. So although it's uh, Palmera's design, I imagine primarily for Spain. Anyway, this is absolute belter of a razor. I wanna give a little pass with this one, just to make sure its edge is still good. I haven't used it for over a year. I gave it a light stropping. Oh, look at that. That is ridiculously good. I was in a hurry on my birthday shave. And I managed to slightly nick myself. So it probably doesn't pay to rush with a, a good razor. I was using the um, nice early Philharmonica. But today is Palmera Day. Ta da Anyway, here's, uh, here's the second Palmera. This is a late one. This has got the very attractive uh, palm tree and the little pyramid on it. But the address, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't, but the address still has the palm tree, it still has a large 14, but it looks suspiciously like it was lasered on. It hasn't got that lovely deep stamp which of course the early razors had, but whatever. It's a round nose, but again, hanging hair test, 
Oh gosh, that's good. Hanging hair test on it was incredibly good. Do you know, I really can't tell the difference at the moment. No, they're both absolutely excellent. Yeah. Remarkably good edges. I only say it's because of the steel, it's not me. You can't beat this quality of steel. It's a shame because um, I like the big blades for the simple reason you can gauge the angle against your skin. They've got a bit of weight to the blade and to the spine. I just find them a little bit easier. Really, this, this is, oh, this is so cool. No friction, no drag, no resistance. Just supreme. They're both on um, synthetic edges. I think I'm right in saying I put, again, 20K Suhiru on both of them. And um, for some reason, I've probably said this before, but for some reason, good quality big blades from this period, deep hollow ground, you can sharpen them pretty much on anything. Honing, honing a big razor like this is actually very, very easy. I've never had a problem with it. And one's as good as the other. Let's try um, a second pass. This time, I think I'm going to go against the grain under the neck with the round nose. Yeah, you can hear there's no resistance, there's no dragging at all. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> it's so good to get a good result from a good razor. It's nothing less than I'd expect. Palmera is uh, an extremely good make. So if you get your chance ever to get a Palmera, don't hesitate. I would say um, one of the best makes ever made. Is it better than a Philly? No, it's not. Each one is slightly different. Whether it's um, a Philharmonica or a Palmera or an Iberia if you can get one, uh, equally good. Yep, absolutely faultless. Yeah. Yeah, scrummy. That's an edge. Let's try uh, the old stripe under the chin. This is always a tricky area. It usually takes a couple of passes. I'm not going for fantastic today. There's nobody likely to want to kiss me at the party. <laughs> so um, I don't have to look incredibly smooth shaven. BBS, I do too often. It, it, if you gain more than three or four passes, you're, uh, you're risking a bit of a sore skin sometimes. Or if you're really clumsy, you cut yourself as I did on my birthday on Wednesday. Anyway, let's see. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> that was an awkward pass, by the way. It wasn't the best pass I've ever done. Well, that's pretty much it. I don't think I need to do much more.
but shading into the, uh, the phone isn't the best thing in the world. It's a little bit um, strange. I prefer a mirror. I'm sure you chaps are sick to death of looking at my ancient face. Isn't it strange how just on the tip of the chin there's always a few little errant stubbly hairs which are stubborn and they don't want to be cut properly. Yep, that's BBS. So, there we have it. Anyway, chaps, I'm not going to waste too much of your valuable time. Um, mine's unimportant. I'm retired. <laughs> I still work, by the way, but technically I'm retired. Um, but not from life. Anyway, look at these two wonderful razors. There is your very, very late round nose. Still a 14, still a very big blade, still incredibly hollow ground. I probably can't do justice with this. And there is the 1890s Mint Palmera by Third Herberts, the original founder of the company, the German gentleman. And this one is, well, superlative is a overworked, overused expression, but it is, it's superlative. And it rings like a bell. When you're stropping it, it rings. When you do a hanging hair test, it rings. Old steel is out there, needn't be dear. All I would say is, um, given a choice, I'll always go for the old steel, but I'll try anything. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, me and my beautiful Palmeras will leave you in peace. Ta -da! And I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching and a good shout out to all who helped me with uh, with my channel, particularly with the equipment side of it. Um, and as I say, I'm eternally grateful to Takeshi in Hawaii. Thank you, sir. To uh, Mr. Siban in Canada. Um, Gary for his limitless knowledge. So anyway, I can't name everyone, but thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this. Do please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.